Hey YouTube, it's me, I'm back. Kind of. Well, a lot's happened. I know in my last video we were expecting a Noosa report, a St Kilda report, a Taupo report, which would have came out today, but unfortunately I got hit by a car. I was feeling really good after Morton Bay, coming off a high, getting training back in to hit Noosa hard and get ready for a massive, massive season of racing and everything, and then boom! car goes across the main road straight into me and I tear two ligaments in my shoulder, the subclavicular and subacromial ligament, if that means anything. Basically, the AG, ACJ was cooked and I've done nothing for eight weeks. <laughs> but I'm able to start doing life again and I figured to make the most of what I can do. Here's a little news report on the subject. Coast triathlete Travis Coleman is used to pushing through the pain, so after a recent crash put him in hospital, he decided to take exactly the same approach and power on. For the past six years, triathlete Travis Coleman has started the day with swim, bike or running sessions, but not for the past six weeks. So instead of smashing out like I usually do, I've had to slow things right down, get into the rehab. That rehab due to a collision while cycling in the Kurumban Valley. Nice straight road, and then I was going and she's just turned straight in front of me. The 26-year-old suffered numerous injuries, including a busted shoulder. As I hit the van, my shoulder sublaxed come up. Uh, tore this ligament and this ligament. Travis spent a week in hospital, but instead of kicking back after he was discharged, he opted to continue training with the parts of the body that weren't damaged. Doing everything I can to keep sane and fit and so I can come back quicker. Just doing leg extensions, uh, then when I could use my other arm, just doing short things with my other arm. He doesn't miss a session and yet works his backside up when he's here. Even if he can't train to the full capacity, you'll find a way to work through and around it. I guess that's what the best athletes do. Travis is aiming to be back racing early next year. Nothing's going to stop me from doing what I want other than me. Sean Lawson, 7 Gold Coast News. So as you noticed, that was on mainstream media. Uh, I'm using media right now. I'm not a massive fan of mainstream media. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this and you'll know the rest of the stories. You can find it all out over there. I won't bore you with the details. But what I do want to say is that obviously news reports what news wants to report it's always been and it mostly always will be on mainstream they wanted a story they got the story they wanted the story i also wanted to share but didn't quite have the time or opportunity to get that in the same block of time they only had a minute to get that aired so i just want to come on and add to that that cyclists aren't dickheads in lycra we're not tossers we're not trying to ruin your day i'm a son i'm a brother I'm a nephew, I'm a partner, other cyclists are parents, children, brothers, wives, husbands. We're not just people who wear uncomfortable looking clothes and ride bikes all morning sipping coffee to ruin your day. Just please take the time to concentrate. You're in a massive heavy vehicle. Even though you'd probably like, oh, it's just my little car, it's just my little van, it's my ute. I'm off to work, that's more important than your life. I've got to drop the kids at the six soccer games, that's more important than you coming home to feed your children. Blah, 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 we're humans, you're in a big metal object, it goes bang and we end up worse off. I love to ride on the road, I love to explore. More on exploring coming later once I'm healed more. <sighs> but... Please just pay more attention on the roads, guys. I've been driving this week. I always commute by bike, but obviously, when I say this week, I mean since the crash. I've had to take the car to work and everything, and I've been able to see more people right now that I'm in the car, and the distraction levels are insane. Like, I thought munching on a cliff bar while driving was like, oh, I, this, is, this is dodgy. The amount of people on their phones, not even paying attention. The amount of people pull out in front of me when I'm in a car. That's what happened when I got hit by the car when I was on my bike. But it's absolutely insane, the lack of respect for others. At the end of the day, your lack of attention is a lack of respect for others using the road and it needs addressing. Let's just ride to work more, drive less and respect others. End of the day, that's all I want to say.